Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Astrid Feit. I'm 21 years old, and I'm a student in interior design here in Hasselt. Uh, I love going to festivals and events, and in school we had to design an ecological object, and I tried to use my love for festivals um, in uh, my designs. Uh, I always kept the wristbands after an event. Uh, I never want to throw them away. Uh, this is my collection. Um, it are all memories to me, um, so they remind me of uh, good times I had or good experiences I've been through. Um, yes, <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> <laughs> so these are uh, other kind of wristbands, uh, they've never been used. Uh, they never had a chance to be at an event or be a memory for someone. Um, they are just remains, leftovers, and misprints from companies, uh, so they don't uh, get used, and they are ready to go to trash. Um, now, a uh, wristband can go two ways. Uh, one way it goes to an event, and someone takes it home as a memory. Uh, he keeps it, or he throws it away uh, after a couple of days or weeks. And the other way, a wristband goes straight to the trash bin, and that's where I want to get involved. Uh, I want to give those wristbands a second chance. Uh, now, why did I choose these wristbands? Uh, I did some research and they are made of Tyvek. Uh, it's kind of plastic with very good qualities. Um, uh, it's also used in buildings and constructions. Uh, some other applications which might be familiar uh, are uh, like this one, an overall, uh, which is used in hospitals. Uh, envelope, envelopes, because they are very strong, uh, they repel water and you cannot tear them. And covers, uh, which are used to protect cars uh, and boats from scratches and the weather. So Tyvek has uh, very good qualities. Uh, most important one maybe is that it is uh, recyclable. Second one, it's very strong, you cannot uh, rip it, you can try. <laughs> and it is uh, waterproof. So. The material is made to survive, I just had to do something with it. Uh, so I tried some different techniques to work with the material. Um, I started with uh, patchwork. So I started by uh, weaving the wristbands and um, I wanted to keep them together. So I tried ironing, but that was a big failure. <laughs> so Because all the wristbands melted, so I had to look for another solution. Um, so I started by weaving the wristbands and uh, I glued them together. In this way I could make uh, very large uh, surfaces, as you can see. And I learned how to use a sewing machine so I could uh, fasten the sides. Uh, in this way I could make a lot of different objects um, of the surfaces of, made of wristbands. Um, I called all the objects uh, bombage. First thing I made was a very small wallet. Um, I made a couple of them. Every design is very personal and unique. I mostly used um, two or three wristbands, sometimes with a message on it. And I used Velcro to uh, lock it. Um, I also made iPod, iPhone and cell phone covers. As you can see on the next slide. Um, I try to use wristbands with a uh, wire on it for the iPods um, because they remind me of a headset and music. And on the side you can see um, the label and I always write bombage on it uh, myself. Uh, next thing I made was a toilet bag and I think it is ideal to go to festivals. Um, because it is light, it is waterproof and it is made of wristbands so they are back where they belong only in a different function. Um, the inside I also used uh, Tyvek, but this uh, is made of Tyvek envelopes. Um, I got them from someone who couldn't use them anymore, um, so I could give them a second chance as well. I also used uh, envelopes in my bag and wallets and covers, um, because it's very strong. I made this bag to carry my laptop to school, it's very practical, uh, it's also handy um, for shopping. And then last but not least, I made a collection of lamps. You can see one over here. 
And these ones are hanging in a bar called the Musical Home around the corner. I used um, their colored expired wristbands and um, made lamps out of it. Um, this is not a personal object, but it creates a special atmosphere at the bar. And they are where they belong, at the Musical Home. And then I'm not planning on stopping yet. Um, I like to make other stuff like a laptop cover or a pen case, maybe a cycle bag. Uh, maybe I can work with uh, other fabrics or um, wristbands which have been worn already. Um, I like to try out some other techniques. Um, I have to admit that I couldn't sew before I started this project, um, but my grandmother, she taught me the ropes, and I learned sewing um, with the material Tyvek. So actually I combined an old technique with a new material, and in this way I could uh, create bombage. Now, Bombash is um, yes, the name of my product, and um, it's a combination of two names. And my family, we, we call my grandmother Bombom, and my friends, they call me Asha. So one day, I put those two together, and it became Bombash. And in a way, I think that Bombash closes the gap between uh, generations, because uh, not only young people or people who go to festivals are interested, but it's for everyone. Uh, Bombash is for everyone who wants to keep a memory, who wants to relive an experience and who doesn't want to lose it. Um, maybe for this man I can make something personal, a design, so he won't have to lose his memories and um, he can start over by wearing new bracelets, wristbands. <laughs> uh, so Bombash is for giving a second chance. Now both arrows can go to Bombash and the trash bin can be much uh, smaller and people don't have to lose their memories, so they can relive their experience. So, uh, last, Bombash stands for the revival of an experience, because memories keep you young, no matter what age you have. And if you like what you uh, just heard, you can see other designs or uh, see more information on my website, uh, bombash.be. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>